Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and in today's video we are going to be going over my January 2021 TBR or the books that I'm going to be reading this month. For this month we are going to have a tiny bit of a theme and the theme is going to be me finishing up books that I started and haven't finished or I DNF. I just need to get basically these books finished see how I like them and then that will be like the determining factor if they just need to go. As long as we got that out of the way you, you guys won't be thinking I'm like overly ambitious with like my books <laughs> because there there's a lot there is a lot and I'm trying to lift the pile without dropping it um but here they are yes these are all of the books. I hope I'm in frame. I don't have a clue. But these are all of the books. A lot of these I have started, did not finish. A lot of them I'm almost finished, but did not finish. And a couple of them I just dnf up because I wasn't feeling like reading them. I do want to get started with a book that I do not have, but I do have it on the Overdrive app, aka Libby. I like to use the Libby part of overdrive i don't know i like libby more is home before dark by riley singer i have had that book on hold for like six to eight weeks for some reason um during this quarantine time that like that book has literally been like placed with everything i don't know why everybody wants to read that book i personally wanted to read it because i seen it on sarah vargas's um, I seen that on her Insta stories and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to read it because she actually really liked it. The first book is this one. I think we talked, we did talk about this one. I know we technically talked about all of them. This is just Patterson for Blind Mice. I almost got finished with the Alice Cross book. It's a detective type book. If you're not into detective type of books, you will not enjoy this one. And that is kind of like my dilemma with it. It is very detective-y. Uh, and I'm, I don't know. There's a lot going on. Um, I'm, I got, I kind of got fallen off of this book because I, spoiler alert, the main guy who they framed, he's already been, um, like, they murdered him. I think they injected him, you know, they did that type of, um, thing. So he's already gone, but he, of course he didn't do it. You know, he was set up. So yes, that's why I was like already like over this book because I was like, well, how is the main book is about, you know, proving this guy innocent and now y'all didn't kill them. So I will not <laughs> do I need to finish? Um, but I am going to finish it, see how the ending goes and I'll get back to you guys on that one. Okay, so then In Pact by Douglas Preston. When it comes to this, pretty sure it's one of those science type of fiction books, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm not sure if I'm not gonna enjoy it. I did start it, I fell asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, it was that type of thing. And this is also one of those books where it's not like the beginning of a um, series. I think this book falls kind of deep in the series, if I'm not mistaken, or it could be book two. It's one of those type of things. I just know it's not the first one, so. We will see how this goes. Um, yeah, maybe it'll be in like one of my reading vlogs. We will see. Another book that's like that one, which it's not like the first in a series. It has like, it's like in the series. Has to be this one. And this is Jeffrey's, Jeffrey Deaver's The Kill Room. Um, so when it comes to The Kill Room, this is like book 11, I'm pretty sure or something i'm pretty sure it's like book 11 i'm trying to be in frame here um my camera likes to be super zoomed in i don't understand why but it's just like one of those type of cameras when you're just automatically zoomed in this book is about you know did i even explain what it's about so this book jeffrey Dares the kill room is like book 11 in the series i'm i'm i don't know if i'm going to enjoy this it is one of course that i started did not finish um, if I could remember, I think it started off kind of slow. Or I was just very confused. I think I was very confused and I was like, what the heck is going on? But then again, that's like for a lot of books. I'm very confused. <laughs> um, but yes, that is this one. And it, the back freaks me out. 
Okay, the next one is one that I actually haven't started, but it has been on my TBR list. I think I was supposed to read it in November, I think. I'm not really sure. I never got to it. And that is this one. It's Mirror Mirror. Um, I really want to finish this book. I really want to get through it. I really want to start it. I'm actually very interested when it comes to celebrities writing books. I'm I'm actually very interested. Of course not like their I'm not talking about like their memoirs and stuff like that, biologies and I'm talking about like when they start to write like novelly fiction type of books. I'm interested in what it is about. Some of the times it's basically based on their life, like uh, the Lauren Conrad, the candy one. I, I just can't with that one. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping this goes in a different direction. I'm praying this goes in a different direction. This one is another one that I have started. I actually liked it. I just never finished it. That is this one, Peerless Undertaking by Deanna Rayburn. Or Rayburn. Speaking of this book, this is book two in the series and I'm thinking there is like going to be five books. Um, The new book to the series is coming out actually in 2020. So if you do want to get started with like this series, uh, Toria Speedwell Mystery. Um, I would jump on that now before the new book comes out. And technically, I like I said, I've been enjoying this book. I just need to finish it. I need to read the first one. Oh my god, I'm like all over the place because I need to read the first one. And then I have to read the third one. And I think there's another one. I I'm all confused now. But I do want to get the... Next one to this. Well, technically, I need to buy all the rest of them. But, yeah. I actually really, really enjoy this book. This is, like, one of those mysteries, but it's not a boring mystery. And, well, actually, it's a mystery. It also has, a, like, well, it's a mystery. It has, like, old European type of history. I don't know. It's, like, one of those, which I'm actually really excited for because... That's not really a genre that I like to get into. Well, I like mystery, but it's more like historic mystery. Some can be kind of iffy for me. So yes, this one is The Fall of Butterflies. I have started this book. I'm currently still reading this book. I have, of course, so I haven't finished it. It is starting, I will tell you right now, this book starts off from where, you know, what I have gotten to really, really well. Uh, if I did not have to say, if I did not say the title is, um, The Fall of Butterflies by Andrea Ports. Yes, this, this book is coming off very, very nice, even though it's kind of interesting how it starts off. I do not want to spoil it, but it sounds like the girl is dead. Like, it sounds like she's dead retelling her story. Or retelling the, like, what ended up to her being dead type of thing yeah it's it's one of those so oh my god I just hit myself so um yeah I'm, I'm going to be very excited to review this book for you and get into like the nitty-gritty of what it's about okay the next one is Invisible City by Julia Dole I D and F this book you guys because it's one of those it's kind of like the James Patterson book it's one of those detective mystery books but the woman is the detective she basically integrates herself into this jewish like group in new york and she's trying to figure out why this woman is um found dead type of thing it, it, i don't know it's it's really not that it's not up my alley in a book that I would have chosen knowing going into it, but like I said, I usually choose books based on like the um, cover. <laughs> I don't like to really read the description because I'm then I'm wondering like, okay, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? You know, because I read the description and you know, in the description it tells you basically what's happening. Like it gives you like the bullet points of what to look for. And I don't like that <laughs> because I'm one of those people that wondering when is it going to come up? Um, so yes, I will try to finish this and we'll just see okay there's two more books you guys and the next one is a passenger by alexandra beckin 
if I'm not mistaken, isn't she having another book coming out, um, 2021? Or did it already come out? One of those. I'm not really sure. Or is it, a, is it another one to this one? I'm all confused. But, um, yeah, I've been trying to get through this one. I DNF this one. I think I only, let me be honest with you guys, I only got to the part in the beginning before she even gets to go on the freaking adventure <laughs> i was like okay i'm done i'm like okay this we didn't went through this whole schooling thing and her talking about this i think it was a performance i'm not even i think so if i can remember and it's like okay she hasn't even got on the adventure part of this because i know this is like one of those like jumping time periods and stuff like that and it took so long for it to get started i i just i i'm in, i was impatient so i'm just gonna suck it up and get through it and see if i like it and if i don't and then it, you know yeah okay and the next one is one that i wanted to start reading i haven't started reading but i did have on i think it was like i said before and on either my november um, TBR, and that is this one, and this is White Fur, which I don't like how they put the name in, like, cursor, because I cannot read that. But anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to get started on this one. I'm interested. I want to know what happens, and this is a thick book, and I need to get it off my bookshelf if it's not good. But anyways, that is all of the books for January. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long. I know there's a lot of books. I know you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, this girl is over ambitious this month and I don't know who she thinks she is because she hasn't been on here for months and she only posts like one video a month and she thinks she can read all these books. I know, I know, I know, I know what you guys are thinking. But like I said, I have already started these books. I just need to finish them. So we are just going to do that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel so you guys will be notified. We'll also turn on the bell because we have to do that too. Um, so you guys can be notified when I put up a new video. Other than that, thumbs up the video if you guys um, like TBRs or what I'm reading. So I will keep on doing them. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.